you all. I thank God for this opportunity to share today's devotion. I would like to turn your attention to the word trust. As the quote says, trust takes years to build, seconds to break and forever to repair. What is trust in God? Trust is believing in God's promises, believing in the Son of God. It's a pra practical consequence of faith. And it's a promise of peace. How to trust in the Lord? I'm going to share a few points on how we can trust in the Lord. Don't depend on you. The verse in Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your, on your own understanding. Secondly, cry out to God. Thirdly, run from evil. Put God first in your life. Check yourself by God's word. God has given us a clear conscience and it is good to trust in God and check our lives according to God's word to see if we, have, we are walking in God's way. To listen to the Holy Spirit and finally rest in God's love. God disciplines us because He loves us. We trust our parents to do what is good for us. In the same way, we can trust God to do what is best in our lives. You may ask me, why should we trust God? There are so many reasons on why we can trust God. We have learned to trust God through our life experiences. It may be through some incidences we read. And we have also heard from the lives of missionaries. Today I would like to share a few points on why we should trust God. God cannot change. God cannot lie. God does not fail. God is faithful. God is a finisher. He is omniscient. God cannot forget His promises. God will not betray our confidence. God's word is trustworthy. God's nature is faithful and true. God's plans are perf perfect and purposeful. I love this picture. It clearly shows why we, we can trust God. Things may be dear to us. We may love it so much that we don't want to part with it. But if we give it in God's hands, we can be sure that He has something best in store for us. I'd like to turn your attention to the center verse in the Bible, that is Psalm 118, verse 8. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put our confidence in man. So let us trust God to help us do our best and also let us trust Him to do the rest. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for this wonderful time you have given us. Lord, we commit this day and today's activities into your hands. Lord, help us to trust you and lead us in your way. Lord, strengthen us and guide us. Lord, let our lives shine for you. We commit us all into your mighty hands. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you.